I think this project in itself presents a very unique opportunity. Generally, everything that we know about being stuck on a desert island or survival psychology is based on individual experiences, people who have been washed up ashore, so it's more anecdotal. Check it out, guys. Civ Croc over there. We've got an opportunity to set up almost in a laboratory experiment, a laboratory example, and view people in these extreme scenarios. So it's a fantastic opportunity to learn from it and then to think about how we might react as individuals. For anybody to be stuck on a desert island, I think it'd be a great challenge because you're away from your home comforts. We've landed in the middle of an alien movie. And then you're with strangers, initially trying to find your place within this group of strangers. If we head, head up that way, kind of trailblaze blaze our way through. Well, hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Let's discuss it. That's quite a challenge to any individual. Well, all we want to do is just, just get out of here. That's all we're trying to do. For us as individuals in daily life, we go to work, we come home, we can put on different personalities, different fronts and different environments. On this island conditions, they're very much under the spotlight 24 hours a day because they're amongst their peers and there's no escape. There's no part of the island they can go and hide off into. They're always within this group of people. Well, well, here again, here well one at a time, we've got to, you know. As individuals in order to survive, they have to rely on some of their strengths of character. It's just wet, it's too wet, it's too wet. Ideally, we want them to have a higher sense of purpose, a sense of meaning that gives them this drive to survive. You got him, you yes. got him, mate. Beyond that, somebody who's like to be more empathic, shared ideals, understand the group dynamic, and also be able to survive that much better. And then a very important trait to have is to be adaptable to the environment and the individuals around you. Hopefully nothing's going to crawl on me in the night, but I'm going to try and not think about it. As Charles Darwin would say, adapt or die. We really want this group to be a cohesive group of individuals with a shared goal. This is it. We know that the first 24 hours, 48 hours are quite important for the group to form and to norm. But beyond that, what happens after day three and four when the adrenaline rush has disappeared and the reality of the situation has set in? I have no idea where the next meal is coming from. As a clinical psychologist, I think this programme is absolutely fascinating. I think there's lots we can learn about individual factors for resilience and for survival, as well as aspects of those group dynamics. What makes the group survive? What makes it thrive in these kind of situations? And what are the points where the group starts to break down, where it starts to struggle a little bit more? Can't believe it! I think we're really going to start getting into trouble.